Every year at SIGGRAPH, the premier computer graphics conference, Adobe researchers present work that pushes the boundaries of graphics, animation, and AI. Here, get a first look at some of the papers we're bringing to SIGGRAPH 2025, from new ways to design realistic digital objects to tools for editing and transforming images, motion, and 3D scenes. What if you could drop this armadillo-shaped die and know exactly how likely it is to land on each part of its body? In their paper, Putting Rigid Bodies to Rest, Adobe researchers and collaborators have developed a method to predict how any 3D object settles when dropped without running physical simulations. They show how to estimate the probability of an object landing in each stable position, whether it's a dragon, a kitten, or an armadillo. The method starts with an initial shape, analyzes its geometry, and transforms it into a final shape using Morse complex with more predictable resting behavior. This opens up new possibilities for inverse design in animation, games, product design, and beyond, where you don't just simulate how things fall, you design how they land. Generative models have made image editing more powerful, but making precise, realistic changes like changing color or texture, changing roughness, removing objects, or adjusting lighting is still tricky. This paper introduces a new method that edits images with pixel precision in an intrinsic image space. This space is a representation of the given image, broken down into layers like color, lighting, and geometry. By editing just the relevant layers, users can make targeted changes, like deleting an object, while the system automatically handles effects like shadows and reflections. The approach uses a brief inference time optimization that preserves the image's overall look while keeping edits realistic. It supports a wide range of tasks, from material tweaks to full scene relighting, all within one unified framework. Here are just some examples of what it can do, changing colors, adding distinctive textures, removing unwanted reflections, and adjusting lighting, all with remarkable control. What if you could take the motion from one video, like a dog leaping into a lake or kittens playfully sparring, and apply it to something entirely different? Motion inversion introduces a way to extract motion from a video and reuse it elsewhere. The key idea is to use motion as a standalone concept, rather than using an object's appearance to influence the way it should move. It does this by learning two types of motion signatures, one that captures how things move over time, and another that tracks how they move through space. This allows for believable motion transfer across completely different subjects. For instance, you could take a video of a dog sitting down and transform it into a snowy fox or even a dragon in a lush garden, both performing the exact same motion. Motion becomes a reusable ingredient, opening new possibilities for creative video generation and animation. Three D reconstruction has come a long way thanks to tools like neural radiance fields and three D Gaussian splatting, where Adobe Research has been at the forefront. But challenges remain when parts of a scene are poorly captured or occluded, like the back of a chair or a shadowed window, affecting the reconstruction. Splat and Replace introduces a new solution using repetition in a scene to fill in the gaps. For instance, if there are identical windows on a building or rows of chairs in a classroom and at least one is clearly visible, the system can help rebuild the others. To do this, the method first detects repeated objects in the scene, then it uses novel view synthesis, which means imagining how an object would look from different angles even if the camera never captured those views. By matching these imagined views with real images, it can align similar objects and create a shared 3D model for them. The model is then fine-tuned using all available footage, even adjusting for lighting differences so everything looks consistent. See more of this work and the rest of Adobe's research contributions at SIGGRAPH 2025, and explore more at research.adobe.com. Follow us on X and Facebook for the latest news.